Hey guys, welcome to Mike Yourself. Uh, for today's video, we're gonna do part two of the addressing the heat issue with Milwaukee 8 on the 2017 Road Glide. So as I mentioned in the previous video, we installed the uh, right side air defend deflector to help kind of be utilized as a scoop to, to really manage the uh, air behind the rear cylinder. Um, we've had this on for about a week now and, and, and still, you know, Jury's still out, still working on it. I want to get past that initial like ooh ah phase and make sure that you know I absolutely um, do not have any issues with it. The great thing is here in California right now this week, it has been extremely hot. We're hitting the 100s, so great temperatures to test this out and confirm that it is in fact working. So that's a great thing. Um, but in addition to that, because it's going to be a you know again. I'm doing multiple things to try to address this issue is I want to <clears throat> extend out my floorboards so if you look the stock floorboard if I measure it from <clears throat> the uh, the cover here to the floorboard itself I'm measuring just about an inch if we're going to this rubber piece. So I'm, that's where I'm measuring it to. <clears throat> and I'm going off of the lip of that cover because that's for this point out there. If I look at the exhaust, the heat shield here, yeah, it's still about an inch, maybe an inch and <clears throat> actually, uh, sorry, not an inch, but three quarters. <clears throat> so get an idea of what that distance is so the way we're gonna do that or move it away is they sell kits that you can buy on Amazon on uh, eBay whatever and this one here is very very low cost I paid like 20 bucks and you get basically these spacers and then you get the the bolts that are gonna be essentially longer to put in between where your current floorboard mounts to the frame um, you're just gonna gap them with these spacers and what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to kick out your um, floorboard a bit and it you know by default that's gonna pull your leg away from the engine just a little bit more so again it's it's just all about trying to get your body away from some of that heat so these are about an inch and a quarter in thickness. So in theory, that's how much it should kick it out. The really good thing is like for me, when I ride, I kind of ride a little, I don't know if you want to call it duck footed or whatever, but you know, I shoot my foot out. Um, so this will actually help a little bit because it'll put this a little bit more in the area where I would prefer my foot to be. Um, and not to say that I won't just start <laughs> doing the same thing, even with these things extended, but ultimately the goal is Let's get our feet a little further away from this and we're going to apply it on both sides. So unlike the deflector, we're going to put this on both sides um, and then uh, take a look at the measurements. And again, it'll be kind of the all over experience. So my goal is to prove out that by not having a catalytic converter, extending out your floorboards and adding the right side only air deflector will help eliminate, well, maybe not eliminate, but will help um, minimize the amount of heat somebody's experiencing while riding a Milwaukee 8 motorcycle. Harley Davidson, right? So I'll go ahead and get this pulled off and we'll take a look at what it looks like. There are two different blocks. So this one is a little bit longer. Now, of course, and as usual, I'm not sure where these came from no instructions so i'm basically gonna have to wing it when it comes to figuring out which one goes to which side they're both pinned so i'm gonna have to just take a good look at it to figure it out i don't think it'll be too hard this is part of the fun right so give me a couple minutes i'll pull those screws out so i'll have the floorboard disassembled or away from the um the frame and uh i'll get back to you so i've got the first floorboard off and <clears throat> it wasn't very hard. They do have Loctite on the bolts. So, you know, what I just used is, um, you know, a half inch drive uh, 
ratchet with a, an extension, maybe an uh, eight-inch extension, and uh, your uh, your hex bit on it. So just use that. You'll see the uh, that there now. I had mentioned, and, and, and so here I can tell that the longer screw goes up the front, shorter one is apparently in the back here. The other thing I want to call out is on the inside here, you can see that pin and the shape of this. So based on that, I'm going to line that up to there and it lines up perfectly. So I'm going to assume that that bigger one is going to go on to the left side. Um, so I, I think that'll be fine. But again, this is very simple. It's two bolts. Um, I'm gonna put Loctite on the new ones, pass those through, re-bolt it up. I need to check to see if there's a torque value on it. I'm gonna assume there is one just because of uh, its use, right? It's like the safety thing. So um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Like I said the other, the other little spacer is just a very simple cylinder. So you just put that there and that should kick us out so let me go ahead and bolt that up and we'll take a measurement check uh, check now i've got this thing together and um i found out the torque spec for those brackets is 36 to 42 foot pounds um so i set mine to 40. <clears throat> i usually try to find like that middle ground if i'm doing it and uh, again pretty straightforward very easy and I can obviously see the difference in spacing already. If I put my measuring tape to the same spot, I'm looking at about two inches, maybe just a little over from there. And then from that heat shield, I'm looking at almost two and eight, about two and an eighth from the heat shield. So, it, it, I mean, it, it does what it says it's gonna do. Now the question is, you know, will it will it help with the heat issue, right? Um, the other thing I wanted to call out is just these things. They also come in chrome. I think you can order them in chrome. So if your setup is not stock like mine, where it's just powder coated black, you can get the chrome ones. I'm not sure if there's a price difference from the chrome, for the chrome ones. Like I said, these were it was like 19 and some change uh, before before tax, and I believe the shipping was free. So I don't know. I mean. Seems like a, a nice, easy, cheap fix for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and um, knock out the other side. All right, so we're on the other side now, and for reference, we're gonna measure it against this point here on the primary cover, and I'm looking at about an inch and three quarter, no, actually uh, three quarters of an inch to the rubber. So that's our reference. Uh, before we put these on Left side is done. So now that we got that on there. We'll go ahead and measure the the distance gain And uh, seems point so now we're at about Two and uh, Got like two and a sixteenth from that primary spot to the rubber edge there so to give you things to give you a little bit different look or view I should say from above it is kicked out a little bit now what I would assume well maybe it's not true so I, I was just thinking you know because I'm extending these out will it have an impact on the lean right so will my foreboard scrape sooner than than it would have before since it sticks out further but I, I don't know if that's necessarily true because it's lifted in the first place, so I, maybe that's not true. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody can tell me in the comments, you know, if, if, if you're aware or not. Uh, again, just kind of trying to think it through. Your initial, your initial thoughts is, yeah, it would, but I'm not quite sure. So, looking at it from the back side here, looks well. I like it. So now the test is going to be again riding, making sure that uh, you know my leg being a little bit further away from the exhaust pipe uh, brings me a little bit more comfort. And if it does, 
perfect right so again just trying to make the ride as enjoyable as possible um, the engine does get hot i mean especially out here sitting at a light it goes into that mode where it shuts off that rear cylinder and you got that thump 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 it sounds really cool but then when you're trying to get off the line or whatever it, it it staggers a little bit and i know you can turn that off but uh i chose not to just because it, i mean it gets hot so i, I mean the last thing i want to do is do something that's going to make the conditions worse for the bike um granted I, that lag does frustrate the heck out of me but it is what it is uh, i don't have that functionality on my evo um but then again it's definitely not as big of a bike as this is uh so yeah just i guess different experience altogether. so hopefully you like this video again it's a short one uh and it, it quick and easy modification that can be done to try and help reduce the amount of heat being experienced on your your legs as a rider this doesn't really help out your passenger um and just make your overall ride a little bit more enjoyable if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up if you enjoy my content become a subscriber if you don't want to miss out on my next video hit the notification bell if you don't want to be bothered by a notification don't hit the bell but you got to become a subscriber i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the wind